Welcome back. Today we have a Crossroads Sunset Trail Superlight 331BH. Just wanted to zip over here and kind of show you uh, the water connection area. It does have a power tongue jack. It also has power stabilizers. Um, I do like the full on LED light strip in there. Here's your power stabilizers. Again, outdoor speakers, nice large awning. Stop at the badges. And uh, that awning does go all the way back covering this rear door, so that's cool. Nice grill, fridge area, sink. And then on the rear, prepped for a backup camera, you've got uh, the ladder up there, everything ready to rock and roll. Um, this thing weighs about 7,700 pounds. Quick stop and pause and move on. All right, so this unit kind of looks like this. It is a very large rear bunkhouse unit. So big island here, dual opposing slides, large kitchen space. Uh, I'm gonna zip you over here, look at the control panel. A little storage slash pantry area right when you walk in. I'll focus a little more heavily on the kitchen. Nice full rollers. Solid surface countertops, micro, which is at a, uh, a lower height than most. Three burner stove, oven, pretty standard stuff. Most campers have about the same thing. We are uh, rocking the 12 volt fridge. And uh, of course there is more storage in bins in the island as well. I'm coming around. Entertainment system, TV is uh, 40 inch. Down below you do have a uh, very, very large electric heater. And there are a few uh, maybe warranty things I'll point out as we go along. I'll try not to make the videos all about that because it's more about the camper itself, but it's just nice to see how we get them in. And this one is not hooked up to the delivery truck because I had some time off, so I am playing catch up. Bunk room, pretty straightforward. Flip down sofa couch, trundle underneath. Um, bed, that will flip up up top. Nicely lit, LCD uh, TV mounting area, the key TV plug-in, you know, storage, standard stuff. You do get, even with the large kitchen, you will get uh, the extra bunk in here, so that is really cool. This does lift up to give you a ton more storage, so. Also, very, very cool. And then you get some more storage up top as well. USB ports, power kind of uh, scattered sporadically throughout everything. This one does have an extra bathroom in the rear here. So straight on in, straight on out, not bringing the mud around. Little roof vent over there, across from the John. There is uh, more storage, so definitely cool. If I'm, uh, again, trying to be particular, this is a little loose. Looks like the staples and nails or whatnot came out. Not a big deal, but something of note. All right, this is uh, the back looking forwards. This tabletop right here does come up, go down. It only has one bar in it. So if you guys are sitting down, you only have one knee knocker, as I call it, and then it's mounted to the wall, so it's pretty solid. Looks like they're doing some work over here. So we got some panels off. Other than that, nice big storage. Moving on into the master bathroom. Angle sink. You will have a nice angled medicine cabinet. It gets pretty deep since you've got a, a corner there. Nice uh, angled shower, get you up and over, kind of looking around at it. Got that skylight above, another skylight here with a fan in it. Of course, you might get some, some sense you might want to get out of here. Nice hanging storage, towel racks. Huge slide out drawer. Still has a pet station down below. The blue in there looks kind of washed out, but still has it. You are still looking at a king size bed. Prepped for a 
television over here mounting bracket location it looks like although i think that is in the wrong spot someone was probably playing tricks at me so i apologize for misleading you um, power usb and 110 on both sides that one's got a yellow sticker on it this unit is prepped for an inverter if uh, you so chose and of course you can always add solar um, but uh, my suspicion is is that tv mount sticker should be about right here so I would say it's there. Looks like there's a little bit of a trim. It was a little too long, not a big deal. Again, just trim it down. And that is this unit as a whole. Again, any questions, of course I do sell them. So if you are interested, let me know. Happy camping.